Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead slash Papa's Place. Guys, have you been wanting a new weed eater, but you unsettled about what brand you want, but you want a good weed eater? Maybe you mow yards for a living, or, or you mow a lot of yards, but you want a good commercial-grade weed eater, a really good one, but you just undecided on what you want? Well, I got something for you here. Now, the other day I was in town, for you who knows where I lived, I stopped by the local tiger stock, which they sell lawnmowers and such and other items. And I was in there and I got to looking around and I seen this hanging on the wall and I just had to check it out. Well, I'm going to show you what I ended up with. I mow yards and I was needing another good weed eater. And I was wanting kind of a commercial grade weed eater, but I was wanting a light weed eater. I'm not wanting no homeowner, real light little homeowner weed eater, but I wouldn't want no heavy one for what I do. Well, he had these hanging on the wall over there. Like I said, that's at the tiger stop. This here is a Mari Yama. Yeah, a Mari Yama. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when he told me how to pronounce that, Mari Yama, first thing come to my mind was Yamaha. Now, I don't know how many of you is ATV fans and UTVs and such as that, but from the time three-wheelers come out, Hondas, Yamahas, you just can't beat them. They, 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 they built like rocks. You just can't beat them. And guess where they from? When I looked up there and I seen this sticker here that said made in Japan, it got my attention. Because in my lifetime, anything that I've ever had that came from Japan was always one of the best tools or items I've ever purchased if it was made in Japan. So that got my attention and I started looking at them. Now what we got right here is a Big M Pro Skate. This is the BT-23OL model. Now some of you thinking about that 23cc's, that's kind of small. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I got one of them other brands that's real popular. I ain't even gonna say on this video, but it's a real popular. It's a 27cc, but it's considered a homeowner. Now what I don't like about that they got a category they put stuff in, homeowner, commercial, and all this kind of stuff. Well, they come with different warranties also. But this one right here, they consider a commercial brand, and they come with five-year warranty, guys. Five-year warranty. So they pretty confident in what they've made here. Now, like I said, this is a 23cc. That other brand I got is a 27cc. Now, I don't know where they get their power from or how they do it, but this 23cc will cut circles around that 27cc as far as the grass and the size of grass it will cut. Now, I just mow yards and stuff, so I ain't using this to clear land, but you can get these in different sizes. But here's some of the great features about these. This thing has got a solid steel shaft, seven millimeter shaft in it. On each end, it's got double ball bearings. Down here at the foot end, it's got a plug here where you can check the oil and you can keep make sure it keeps oil in that foot. Well, that's gonna make it last forever, you know. It just has such great features. This little orange button right here, it ain't a button, it's kind of a slide handle. I don't know what you want to properly call it, kind of like a slide handle. But you know, sometimes you weed eating and you weed eating around stuff and you don't want to weed eat wide open because it slings too much stuff. You can adjust this and then when you're holding your trigger, it'll only run that speed and won't go no faster. Or you can push it all the way forward and it's like a safety. You can pull your trigger and don't nothing happen. And we'll go outside after a while and I'll crank it up. It's kind of a stormy day out today. It's the reason I'm inside the shed doing this. 
Of course, it's got the kill switch, just like any other weed eater. This BT-23s weighs approximately 11.5 pounds or 11.8 pounds. And if I remember right, it holds like 17 ounces of fuel. But guys, these weed eaters right here are more fuel efficient than that other brand I was talking about. It ain't hard to guess about what other brand I'm talking about. They they good they good brands. But this here is more fuel efficient. I've been using it. Comparing it to the 27cc I got, this one just makes it look like nothing as far as that goes. Some people may worry about parts. Well, if you live here where I live and you know where I live, you go to the local tire stop where he sells them. He keeps the parts here like if you broke a crank rope. All this little crank rope piece, he keeps the carburetor parts. They do the warranty work on them. So they got all the parts. They got the replacement ends down here. Also, you can change that out and you can put blades or different kind of ends on some of them. According to what size you get. But guys... All the parts for these is just as easy to get as they are for that other brand. Now, I'm, I'm speaking highly of this. And the reason I'm speaking highly of this is because, like I said, all of my life I've owned three-wheelers, Hondas, Yamahas. And they've always been built like a rock. And I've been using this thing, and it has really, it has really impressed me. And for them to put a five-year warranty on these smaller ones and consider them commercial grade, that, that ought to tell you something right there. You can get this particular one, this Big M, in a 30 or a 42. Now, guys, the 42, that's something if you out there want to clear brush with it. I mean, that's, that's a powerful weed eater. But if you think 20... Three right here ain't big enough for you, I promise you that 30 years, especially if you're just a landscaper, yard mower. Now, one of the big features I love about this is how easy and convenient it is to put string in the end, guys, without having to remove this. So I'm gonna get y'all over here closer and change the angle up a little bit, and I'll show you how you put your new string in. Now guys, another feature I like about this Mariyama is how you can load the string. You don't have to remove the head in order to put new string in. You can buy your string here in a roll and I'm running .095 you just pull you off a piece approximately nine foot long and I'm gonna get y'all up here and show y'all how simple this thing is to load without having to remove the end or anything. Now on the weed eater you got two holes one on each side where your line comes out but on the top up here it's got a little air and it'll be an air right there, and it's an air also right here on top. Big air right there. So you got one there and one straight across from it, and then, of course, on the other side. So when you weed eating, all you got to do when you run out of line is turn that and line them airs up with them two holes. And you got to get it just right, and it's easier to get it just right by looking down through there when you can see all the way through you lined up. And guys, you just feed that line through. Now, after you feed it through, you stretch it out until you get it equally. So I'm walking back behind you here so I can get my line equally. You want the same amount on each side. Then all you do is give it a half turn. Make sure to keep your line tight with this hand. Give it another half turn, keeping your line tight. 
You can do that two or three times, keeping your line tight. And then you can just continue winding. But I like trying to keep my line tight as I'm winding with my right hand. So what I'm doing, so what I'm doing, I'm holding my line with my fingers. And it's keeping it tight and I'm turning it and it's sucking the line in. Guys, that's how quick and easy it is to load new line in this Mariyama. You don't have to take that off and feed it through no holes. and It's just real quick, simple, and easy. So guys, that there is just another selling point. Also, if for some reason... You let your line break off and suck up in there, but you still know you got line. You can remove this head and get your line. Best thing to do is just take that line off and put your head back on and start over. Don't try to feed the existing line back into the holes while it's already wound on there, because then it'll be loose and it'll cause you trouble. Just go on and take that line off, put your head back on, and do just what I showed you and reload. But I have had no trouble with that. And I love it. Because how quick and easy it is to load. A lot of times I'm mowing yards. Some of them big yards. I may have to load it a couple of times. Well guys. You see how easy it is to change it. That was a big selling point to me. But let's go outside. And we're going to fire her up. And show you how the little. It ain't really a cruise control, but I'll show you how that works. And we're going to go out here. Lot next to me got some pretty tall grass, and we'll do a little cutting with it. And then we'll come back in. So we've been a fire up, just like any other weed eater. You got your little choke here, and you got your little primer bubble. And see, them primer bubbles is something on all these little gas engines that I don't like, because they usually... It's one of the first things that'll let you down there get dry and bust. But that was one of the first questions I asked the fella at the tiger stop. And he said, oh, and he pointed to him and said, I got them right up there. I said, okay. Good for you, Mr. Tiger Stop. So let's fire this baby up. and cut a little big grass with it. weed eating for me because I don't even like weed eating. Must let's be out here weed eating somebody else's field. <laughs> but guys, that right there is a Mari Yama. 
That's how you pronounce it. Mari Yama. They make hedge trimmers, chainsaws, I guess any, any kind of yard tool. But I have never seen one of them until I walked in my local tire stop and seen him selling them. Then I done a little research on my own. And then I went back up there and I said, that's the one I want. Like I said, I'm gonna keep referring this back to them three wheelers and Yamaha four wheelers and stuff that's made in Japan. And I just think this is gonna be to catch me out. For, for it to come with a five year warranty and could be considered commercial grade. Also, the light weight of it to be commercial grade. That's what I was looking for. Something that was going to be light, but I did want to purchase a good one. I didn't just want to go get one of them little rinky-dink toy ones. I wanted a good one. And I think I got a good one right here. So, if you know anything about these, or if you own one of them, please put it in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Let me know what, what you think. Like I said, so far I'm loving this right here. But put it down there in the comments and let me know what you think about them, what your luck's been with them. If you don't live around where I live, look it up online and you can search for your local dealer. See, see if you got a local dealer nearby. Or maybe over in the next town that sells these. And go look at them and check them out. But the, for you and who live around here that know where I live, go check out the Tiger stuff. You can find you one of these Mariyamas. But guys, if you like these little videos and you ain't never subscribed, please reach down there and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Don't cost you a thing, but it really helps me grow my YouTube channel. And the best way you can help me grow my YouTube channel and do me the best good is to hit that like button and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested or like watching my videos. You know, poor boy's little homestead slash pop-off place, it ain't about just reviewing weed eaters and stuff. You're going to see all kinds of videos on here. You'll go to my site and go to my playlist. I don't know what I'm up to. 300 plus videos maybe, but I got videos of all kinds. I try to do a lot of how-to videos and all kind of stuff but again you can go check out my website www.poorboyslittlehomestead.com got recipes pictures i need to update my pictures on them though got recipes on there you can go shop for merch but go check that out if you when you get your spare time and as always i hope y'all have a blessed day and a blessed week god bless See y'all next time.